Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I want to talk about how you can create the info boxes or KPI looking boxes within your Shiny dashboard. So if, if you have seen some dashboards, you must have observed how important it is to display those key metrics like how much sales you have done, uh, what was your conversion percentage, or maybe about if HR dashboard, then what is the headcount number? What is the attrition percentage? All of that kind of uh, metrics, which top management or somebody at a manager level really want to see how the department or how the program or the project is performing by looking at those key metrics and take decisions whenever things are falling behind. So in this video, I want to talk about how you can create such KPI boxes which we call info box within the uh, shiny dashboard terminology. So let's go and see this uh, in the back end in the code. So for that, let's go into the R Studio. And within the R Studio, we have in the last video created the tab boxes where we created multiple tab panels within this fluid row. And generally, you have the info box at the top. So what I'm going to do is I will going to create the KPIs. Uh, or the info boxes above to this uh, tab box so for that we will create one more fluid row here and uh, fluid row and within the fluid row we will going to specify the info box so info box is basically a part of your shiny dashboard uh, library so the first parameter it accepts is the name or the title that you want to give it to this info box which will be displayed in the front end um, so let's say you want to display maybe uh, some static information first of all uh, just to look how it works so maybe sales and then maybe you want to give some number which may be around let's say uh, 100 or 1 million so if i yeah uh, i think it is 10 million if i'm not wrong but that's fine i mean you can give formatting whatever you want just the uh, demonstration purpose so sales this is done and finally you can specify the uh, icon to make it a little bit incorrect uh, uh, interactive so icon is equals to icon and within that there's a icon i think thumbs up to give it uh, for the sales or that means you are appreciating the sales so just an example you can specify whatever you need and makes much sense for you and if you don't know where to find this uh, information uh, i have shown it in my previous video but to reiterate uh, you can put a uh, use the help uh, here within the shiny command and uh, command space and uh, put a question mark and click uh, and say icon once you do that you get the information over here where you have the two different websites uh, where you can go in and take the icons by importing their library. All right, so if I save, the, I will let me go to the uh, the chart or the dashboard that we have and press F5. So it's saying that uh, it has having an error sourcing it. So let me go and uh, yeah, so here is a comma that I need to put between two fluid rows. Hit save and press F5. All right, so sales 1 E plus 6. So that's a scientific notation and you are seeing that thumbs up is coming. So that's how the information get displayed. So if I just go and reduce it a little bit, maybe like 1000. Well, not something appreciated, but that's fine. Run the app. Oh, it's already running. I just need to refresh it. So now the thousand is coming. However, you can change the notification of scientific uh, when you are uh, by either formatting into a number, proper number format and all. So the idea is basically that's how you can show and if you want to add a couple of more here in this case. So one info box is this, another info box may be related to uh, conversion percentage and you are saying after a comma 20% icon is equals to icon and uh, maybe something you want to show it as a warning so just warning i think i'm just taking up the name but uh, uh, i think that's the icon that is present there on the website 
so 20 percent uh, it is showing 20 percent as something problematic because it is not able to identify percent so what we can do is we can say paste zero and within the single quotation 20 percent save and refresh it so now we have as a warning sign it has come and conversion percentage is 20 percent so that's how you can keep on adding the uh, info boxes uh, and make it more and more kpis but generally you don't want to show the static information and you want the processing to be happening some, somewhere in the back end so what you can do is you can utilize again the server file to do the processing and maybe what we can do is we can create a third one info box and we can maybe say approval approved sales and if you see uh, generally you have the info box but here we want to have processing to be happening from the server so what we need to write an info box output so once we do that we have specified the approved sales as an object so i'll just copy it so that i can use it in a server i will hit save go to the server and write output dollar and approved sales define the uh, render info box create parenthesis and here we will write the info box and now the name approved sales and uh, maybe here in this case we may want to give one million proper comma separated values like this and finally icon is equals to and so this is the font awesome awesome dot icons and glyph icons from a get bootstrap dot you can get it so earlier i just showed you uh, in the previous video so the same information is here and maybe here in this case i will just take the bar chart o which is available in the font awesome icon so let me um uh, use this and icon and saying bar chart o so if you want you can actually see more information i have it uh, i think opened over here so this is the font awesome dot icons dot io slash icons and here are the different icons that you can get so uh, you have a lot of options i mean so based on whatever information you are trying to display you have a lot of options over here and even if uh, your options are not able not available here you can go into the another website just import the library like this like it has mentioned in the uh, in this example and get their icons directly in your R interface for your shiny dashboard. All right, so idea is that you have the processing opening happening over here and displaying it then here in the uh, as a processed output. But if you see, I have again specified the uh, static information, but that is generally, uh, you know, that is here in this case because I'm not importing any data or anything, but you are free to specify the uh, uh the object the r object over here which is finally calculating your number the one number that's the that's the key that means something like sum average the output of the such functions are always one object and you can specify your custom or custom function or anything but idea is that it should give you an output as a one value so that's the key so let's see uh i'm hoping that we are good here save it stop the previous instance and run the app all right so here we have the sales the conversion and within third icon which is a bar chart kind of an icon and saying these are the approved sales well you can have million or whatever you want as a additional stuff uh, by specifying over here in the using the paste zero which i have used it uh, here but the idea is that how you can get the output from the server and what are the syntax that you need to follow so this is a simple render function you can make it as complex as you want based on uh, how you want it to be processed like a custom function you want to specify for getting the output and also that's what i meant by how complex you can make 
Well, uh, this is how you can create KPIs. If you have need of creating more and more info boxes, you can keep on creating it. But uh, you may want to look at uh, that it is not becoming clumsy and uh, you are displaying the right metrics in the KPIs. So, well, that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. And I will meet in the new video, some new topic.